The House of Horrors on Airport Boulevard has been scaring Mobilians for 15 years now, but not without controversy. After receiving messages from viewers that they were being blindsided by religious and political views inside the haunted house, we went inside to take a look for ourselves tonight. As Local 15's Christian Jennings reports, folks we talked to didn't mind getting a dose of something different this Halloween. From the outside, it looks like your typical haunted house. And once you step inside the house of horrors, you get exactly what you would expect. Bone chilling sights and sounds. Okay. But the end of the tour takes an unexpected turn. One room features a montage of news clips talking about Christians being murdered in the Middle East. There's even a picture of a child held at gunpoint. Very graphic. Uh, it was very moving, um, you know, to see that there are, you know, still martyrs that are, you know, giving their lives every day for Christ. It brought your attention to something that you really don't think about every day. And before the tour ends, participants are even given the chance to turn to Jesus for salvation. I was very um, pleased with it. I thought it was great. But not everyone leaves pleased. On the House of Horrors Facebook page, one person calls it a tool to propagate right-wing fear against Islam. Another writes, I was very upset and disappointed. I wanted a haunted house not to get preached. I already have a religion. Director Mark Byron knows he'll always have critics, but says most people are accepting of what he's doing. You know, with all the things that are going on in the world today, especially with ISIS, there are some radical belief systems that believe that Christians don't have the right to live. It was mainly just to uh, give a positive word about and honoring our, the martyrs, people that have had to lay down their life. In Mobile, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News. House of Horrors is put on by Reality Church. Tomorrow is your last chance to visit the House of War. For more information, visit our website, local15tv.com.